Hello, David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. You know, it's pretty remarkable that after all this time, 2019 to today, we're still finding out different items of clothing and sartorial kit, accessory products, brands from no time to die. It's remarkable, and yet we're still doing it. And today, as you could tell from the thumbnail, we are here to do a full review of a piece of clothing that really has an interesting journey because it was identified many, many, many moons ago. Um, not just from early pictures, we could see something kind of poking out here, and obviously things started rolling forward. What do I mean by that? Well, we're dark detectives. You know, we look at evidence, we look at pictures to really come together, and we started to see some interesting images. We started to see some things obviously from the movie, through trailers, through paparazzi photos, and even from product magazines. Look at this one that I got an early view of from Aston Martin. And the interesting thing is when this was sent to me by a good friend of mine, we were immediately looking at the sunglasses, you know, kind of dangling there, which ones were they? And that kind of started to disseminate because we were like, wait a minute, there's that linen shirt that's been kind of elusive. Well, of course, things happen. You start to identify things and things start to come together through other images, through the visuals. We use it all. And then what started to come together was, you know, the company that did this jacket right here in Matera did, of course, a linen shirt for Bond. Now, where does he wear this? Well, um, we know that he wears it with this jacket right here, which the reason I am wearing the Rag and & Bone and the Massimo Alba cords and everything, and obviously the No Time to Die watch is because there's got to be some sort of correlation. Let's, 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 let's think about this for a second. There's got to be some sort of correlation to this outfit, to, to this jacket, and to the linen shirt that we're going to talk about. There's got to be some sort of connection there. We see Bond and Madeline talking in some sort of a, a room. Could be any place. Could be an apartment. Could be a home. We don't know what it is about, but does he then take the jacket, put the jacket on over a top of that? Does he have the jacket on over top of the linen shirt first? Then he gets changed into this shirt and this outfit for a little bit more of the commando situation your jets. We'll find out in September, right? But today, we want to talk about what's in this box. Yes, we're not going to be wearing this for too long because, well, in conversations with Connolly of England, the company that did, like I said, this jacket and the shirt we're going to be talking about, it's been really some fun communication. The team over there is so proud, so proud of their legacy, as are the other brands associated with this movie. And they wanted to do something a little bit different. They wanted to do a short run. And when I say a short run, what that means to the uninitiated is a small run. A small run of the same exact shirt, thread for thread, button by button. And they did it as a collaboration with another company, so they had to really come together. What's this short run? Is it 5,000? Is it 1,000? Is it 100? 50. 50. So literally, they sent out a, a quick message and 50 spots filled up, probably within a matter of hours, 50 people got this shirt. And by the way, you can see from this, I'm not kidding, folks, I haven't even opened mine yet. All right. So this is, uh, this is unboxing. It's best. That's a great sound. You like that? I like that sound too. All right. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, pomp and circumstance, so we love the box. And there goes the card, but we're not cutting because this is real. It says, thank you from Connie of England with love. Look at that, thank you with love. Clifford Street, London, ConnollyEngland.com. I like those little moments. Who puts a card anymore? I get digital emails because of this uh, you know, technological terror that we've created amidst all this stuff. All right, hold on a second. So here we go. Aha. Mm -hmm. So I've got a beautiful blue box. It almost looks like a shoe box, but it's thinner. It's a shirt box. Of course it is. I love this little hole right here. I think that's to vent a little bit. 
Um, it's a blowhole. It's where it can breathe underwater. Now, I don't know what that is, but it's neat. And what you're going to see is that it doesn't say Connolly. It says Finnamore, 1925, Napoli. That's because Connolly of England and Finnamore as a separate company came together. They've used this proprietary linen and accoutrements to really come together to create the Bond shirt. So, oh, nice box. Nice box. I love it when people put a little bit into packaging. You've got some nice tissue paper here. Hey, listen, if you don't like these details, you're on the wrong chip. This looks so cool. I'm excited because it's a Bond shirt. When was the last time I got some new Bond piece of clothing? Danielle's upstairs going daily, maybe. Uh, so there it is. Oh my gosh. There is the shirt in all its glory. Um, so if you can see the tag, of course you can't see the tag. I'm going to take it out of the packaging because this thing is not going to live in a box. It's not going to be put on display or on a mannequin. It's going to be put on my back. Wow. Okay. So what was the wow for? Um, the wow was for the hand. It's, you see, there's some linen, there's linen, darling, and then there's linen. Um, what I mean by that is there's linen that's like a little crunchy, even in milk. No, it's a little crunchy. It's a little scratchy. Sh linen shouldn't be. This is like, it's almost like combed. It's like a fuzziness to it. But take a look at the tag on there. All right. What you're seeing there is Finnamore 1925 Napoli for Connolly. Coming together, it is a size 1641. That's all me. That's all me. And let's start taking this apart because guess what we've got to do? We've got to try this on. This is not about just looking at it from afar. We've got to try this on. So let's put it all together and see what we have underneath. Let's begin by talking about the shirt itself and some of the details because the shirt features a cutaway collar, open placket, curved cuff, hand sewn buttons, hand finished armhole and a moosh finish at the bottom of the side seams. The fabric's actually a 70% cotton and a 30% linen. Now Connolly as a company, they're not newcomers. They were founded in London in 1878 as a small family business of saddlers and shoesmiths. They then evolved further to become the best known supplier of highly finished leather for the automotive industry. Its portfolio of distinguished clients include Bentley, Aston Martin, Jaguar, Ferrari, and Rolls-Royce, whom Connolly was the exclusive leather supplier for over 100 years. What's interesting is now they're known as a sartorial juggernaut, an identifier of, oh, I don't know, some secret agent named James Bond. So before we try this on, I do want to show you how light this is. You can probably see that it is nearly see-through. Let's, let's kind of demonstrate that a little bit. You can see kind of my hand coming through. And on the sides here, this is pretty interesting, and I like this, you have the Hennemore symbol right there. We'll see if we can get kind of close up there around this area. So this, this clearly can be worn untucked or tucked. So we're going to show you a little bit of both and kind of put it all together. So here we go. Let's jump in. Boom! Just like magic. All right. So we've got the shirt on and a couple things right away. As I was trying on the shirt and, and I probably have forgotten this. Me culpa. Me culpa. Um, it's not 100% linen. It's, it's about 70% cotton and 30% linen, which uh, that's that's why it's so soft. So that combination, the correct combination of linen and cotton makes it fantastic. All right. I've got a size 16. My chest is a 41-ish. <laughs> yeah, COVID. Um, and waist is a 31. And the 16 fits really well. I wouldn't want it baggier. Okay. I know some of you are going to be like, David, I see a little puckering here and there and it's like yeah that that's how shirts fit me when you you know you have a bit of a chest so this is just how it fits but this is how I also like my shirts to fit you can see that the length is really nice here's uh here's the side here's the back 
in kind of a relaxed form. Okay, you've got these nice armholes, which I really like. I mean, the arms aren't hanging down. I always call them little bat wings. There's no bat wings there. You've got some nice surface. The sleeve length, and this is not customized. The sleeve length is perfect. Another excuse to show off the watch. But look at that, that this is the watch you would be wearing. The sleeve length is perfect. Now you can get a really good view of those buttons there. And they look pretty good. They look really good. I love everything about this. And the collar, the way this collar cuts away, as I described before, is just very complimentary. I like it because it doesn't draw up too close to the chin. Uh, it kind of spreads out, does some good things for your shoulders. If you don't have big shoulders, even if you do have big shoulders, it kind of looks cool. And it's something a little bit different. You can see that kind of scalloping that's going on. It's not like every shirt that you own, movement-wise. I don't know why I'm dancing like I'm from the 1950s, but movement-wise is totally fine. You can see there's no buckling here. Now, I believe, based on pictures like this one, um, as he's chewing on a pair of sunglasses, who doesn't? Snacky, that's all. Uh, that he wears this tucked in. So let's get this thing tucked in. Okay, okay, now it's tucked in, I've got it tucked in just like he would have it in the movie, and this is how the shirt should be worn. I mean, it, it's the type of shirt, the way it's scalloped at the bottom and cut at the bottom, you could wear it out. I'm not crazy about that look. I think it looks, it looks a little too casual, a little unfinished, and if Bond is wearing this, I want Bond to look finished. Uh, I want to look finished if I'm kind of emulating that look. So here's the shirt tucked in. You can see it is it is fitted. It's not skinny, and I don't even think it's slim. It's a fitted shirt. So if I was to take a size 16, you can sit there at home and be an armchair quarterback sartorial expert. Do it. Do it. I give you, give you, I give you full permission. Um, and say, you know something, David? I would have gone for a 16 and a half. You know, maybe a little bit more room. I really like the way this fits. Um, I'm great with it. I think uh, this is how I would want the shirt to fit. But something's missing. Something's missing because even though he wears this like this, just as a shirt, talking to Madeline, we know that probably in Norway, he wears it with the Massimo Alba. So let's, let's put the look together. We're not cutting. We're not cutting. You're gonna watch me put this on sloppily with collars akimbo and straighten myself out. And I'm using the camera as a mirror. Look at that, the shoulders are bunching up like a, like a crazy person, but that's okay. Because you know something? This is all about shooting the cuffs. Not literally sometimes, but in this case, yeah. Yeah, oh, 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 watch check. Okay, there we go. All right, so now I've got the Massima Alba trench over it. I've got the pants, the belt, not the correct belt, FYI, and I've got the shirt. Now I've got that look. Now I've got it put together. What do I think, right? Analysis, analysis. Um, I love this shirt. This shirt is so comfortable. Now that I've got something heavier over it, it feels really comfortable. I can see now that this kind of pinkish beige, if you will, and I'm sure the camera is not picking up all the correct colors, but it is this kind of uh, straw linen type color that you would typically think kind of this raw linen matches perfectly with the kind of loden, you know, muted green of this and even the black of the pants. It all comes together incredibly well, but it's the hand, it's the softness, it's the way this fits that I'm really gravitating to in a big way. So I'm really happy with this. Now, a lot of people could be like, oh my gosh, what were they, what were they thinking? You know, why only 50? You know, they could have sold 500 of these. Yes, absolutely they could, but you know, it gets into kind of a sticky situation. Um, you know, they're not calling this the Bond shirt, for example. This is something, 
This is just something that they wanted to do for a bunch of Bond style fans out there that wanted to take advantage of it. And they did. And this review is, is the culmination for me. I've been talking to them about this for a long time. They've been very patient <laughs> with my communication and I want to thank them for that. So Connolly and all the great folks over there. Thank you. Uh, thank you for doing this and thank you for connecting to the Bond fans because that's why they did this. This is not, this wasn't a, uh, a watershed of revenue in a time when, you know, revenue on the retail sector is, is much needed, but that's the type of brand they are. So hats off to you. What a great heritage brand. What a great moment in Bond history that you can now own. It's not just about this jacket. It's about this shirt as well. So there you go. Quick little review. This has been David Zaritsky for the Bond Experience. We'll see you all real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from the Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.